Diversity hire job. This is why why uh, affirmative action based sort of jobs are so insulting because they basically say that you wouldn't get the motherfucker if they weren't trying to check the box. So that says a lot about your talent, because if you were a talent, there would be just a blank slate if it if it wasn't about that. But then these companies lead with, hey, we're looking to hire uh, uh, and we're we're going to commit to having X amount of. Uh, uh, this type of gender or this race of people that are going to be a part of our company. They're essentially saying that, hey, here's a fake job that we're not hiring based upon how talented you are. So if you thought they were just trying to buy clout, I got news for you, dipshit. Let me zoom in on a handsome man. Every one of those diversity hire jobs are for clout. Every one of them. Every single one of them, there are zero exceptions to that. The reason why you have a job where you say you can only fill it. We're not talking about like acting jobs where, of course, you need to look the part. We're talking about just basic jobs of merit. If they lead with the fact that they need you to be a certain color, a certain gender, a certain uh, 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 sexuality or something. Newsflash, they're not hiring because you're good at the shit. It's a fake job. And your sucker ass accepted it. It wasn't that they, you found out that way because you got laid off. You just found out how disposable you were. But the fact that the job exists and you took it shows that you it was always about that. There's no market desire, no true market need for a diversity, inclusivity and equity based jobs. None of those jobs are real. None of them. Not a single one of those jobs actually have a market demand, like a true market demand. They're fake jobs that are specifically there so companies can say, look at us. And they actually are stupid enough to believe that this is going to equal them having more money in the long run. And Netflix found out the hard way that it don't quite work that way, especially when you actively push out people. You turn people off. That would be your core customer base. And believe it or not, we're just getting started because a lot of folks have to be weaned away from this. A lot of people have to, you know, get away from uh, uh, their their like it was convenient. It was something that was part of the routine. And as more people wake up every day and they realize hmm, life ain't so bad without Netflix, life ain't so bad without Disney. Once people realize that they lose money and they lose money and it keeps going down. And trust me. Someone at the top will finally say, all right, guys, we can't keep doing this. Guess who's going to be the first to go? It's y'all crackhead ass.